to Welcome to Goshen, where the worshipers arise. Welcome to Goshen, let's lift God high. You are welcome in this place. Come experience His grace. Welcome to Goshen, Goshen is the air. Good morning, church family, and happy Sabbath to everyone. I'm so glad that you are here worshiping online with us today during this season of Thanksgiving. Today is about giving thanks and praise to a God who loves us so much. We want to thank him and want to praise him for all that he has done for us. As we worship him today, we want to set our hearts and our minds and reflect on his goodness. And as we reflect on his goodness, we want our hearts to leap with praises and thanksgiving to him. You would agree with me that this year has caused us some anxiety and some stress. And oftentimes when we go through anxious times and times of perplexities, our mind forget to give God praise because we are so concerned with what we are going through. But today, we want to set all of that aside and we want to be thankful to God for allowing us to come through this journey. We want to give him praise and we want to give him thanks. We don't want to forget that God is the source of our strength and our help. And so we just want to thank him. So I'd like to open our worship service today with these words from Paul. Paul is admonishing us in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, when he says, Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And he goes on to say in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 18 and 19, he says, in everything, not in some things, but in everything, not when things are good, but in everything, even when things are bad. Paul says, in everything, 
give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. And he goes on in Colossians chapter 3 verses 14 and 15. He says, but above all things, put on love which is the bound of perfection. And let the peace, somebody, you need the peace of God. Let the peace of God rule your hearts, to which also you are called in one body. And guess what? Yes, be thankful. This is a day of thanksgiving. This is a day of praise. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Oh, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Well, somebody, wherever you are, would you just bless his name? Would you just magnify his name? Would you give him praise this morning for what he has done for you as we worship him together. Let's reflect on what God has done for us. Let's give him praise for this is the day that the Lord has made. Would you rejoice? Would you be glad in it? And would you give him praise? Thank you for being with us. And as we worship together, let God speak to your heart and your minds as you give him praise, as you thank him, and as you bless his name.
105 1 through 6 says oh give thanks to the lord call upon his name make known his deeds among the peoples sing to him sing psalms to him talk of all his wondrous works glory in his holy name let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the lord seek the lord and his strength seek his face forevermore remember his marvelous works which he has done his wonders and the judgments of his mouth O seed of Abraham, his servant, you children of Jacob, his chosen one.
Happy Sabbath, everyone. As you can hear in the background, the song says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. And the Psalms I'm going to share with you is Psalms 136. It says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone does great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who by wisdom makes the heavens, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who laid out the earth above the water, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who made great lights, for his mercy endureth forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endureth, how long, church? Forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn, in their firstborn for his mercy endureth, how long? Forever and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endureth forever, with a strong hand and with an outreach arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endureth forever, and made Israel pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endureth forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who struck down great kings, for his mercy endureth forever, and slew and slew famous kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever, and Ah, king of Bashan, for his mercy endureth forever and gave their land as a heritage, for his mercy endureth forever. An inherit heritage to Israel, his servants, for his mercy endureth forever, who remembered us in our lowly state, for his mercy endureth forever, and rescued us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever, who gives food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever, Oh, give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever and ever and ever. We have a lot to give thanks for, church. Let's remember, his mercy endureth forever. Happy Sabbath. And rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Come on. Hey. Come on, have life. Y'all ready? Come on. Wherever you are, get up on your feet right now. Put your hands together. Come on. All of my life, I've never known you to fail. You remain the same man. Wonderful is your name. All of my life, I've never known you to fail. You remain the same man. Wonderful is your name.
to worship and obedience and it says oh come let us sing to the Lord let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation let us come before his presence with thanksgiving let us shout joyfully to him with songs for the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods in his hand are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion, as in the day of trial in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me. They tried me though, though they saw my work. And for 40 years, I was grieved with that generation and said, it is the people who go astray in their hearts and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest.
Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. dismayed whatever betide God will take care of you beneath his wings of love abide God will take care of you God will take care of you through every day or all the way He will take care of you God will take care of you will be denied God will take care of you God will take care of you through every day or all the way He will take care of you God will take thanks unto the Lord for he is mighty good this year I'm not gonna call it a rough year it's been a good year I'm alive the family's doing well I haven't worked in a year but God has been really good one thing I'm so happy for is the time that I've been able to spend with my daughters who've been um, able to work with our food pantry, our food giveaway, and it's brought me closer to them. I'm also thankful for my home. Teresa opened her home to me over almost two years ago, and it's just been good. It's been a good year. That's what I have to say. It's been a good year. I met someone who 
makes me smile. And uh, I enjoy spending time with him. So God has been good and he continues to be good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Thank you. 
happy Sabbath, everyone. We're the Fraser family, the first family of Goshen Seminary Adventist Church, and we just want to wish you a happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving. We're thankful for so much. I, I'm personally thankful for my family, how God has kept us, how God has protected us from all harm, danger, seen and unseen. Also, I want to thank God for you, Goshen, my church family. You have been so wonderful in your support to us. And we, I want to thank God for the ministry that you do on a daily basis. I want to thank him so much for your faithfulness and your generosity and your kindness and your love. We couldn't do this without you. So you mean a lot to us. So I thank God personally for you. And I want to just ask my family what they're thankful for. Jasmine, what are you thankful to God for? Well, I'm thankful for health because during COVID-19, this pandemic, a lot of people have been getting sick. So I just know that with my health being kept up, I'm keeping a lot of other people safe. And I'm just thankful that I've been healthy and strong throughout. Um, I'm thankful for time. Um, time to spend with my loved ones, time to spend with friends, and 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 even like extended relatives you know um that during this during this time of uh unprecedented of, of, of unprecedented of the COVID 19 um it is very important to spend time with your loved ones while they're still here uh so that's what i'm thankful for well i'm also thankful grateful to god for my family for my husband pastor frazier my daughter jasmine my son justin for time that we are able to spend together. I'm grateful to God that he has kept us safe throughout the semester. I work in, a, in the education system, and so having to see students on a regular basis, not knowing whether or not someone is sick, sometimes you just gotta be very careful. And so my children are home, and we have not had the affliction of COVID in our home, and we praise God for that. And although there are some and many who have had the COVID-19, if you're still here, praise the Lord. This is a time for Thanksgiving. And if we have had loved ones who have passed based on the pandemic and based on the COVID-19, we pray for you. And we pray that God would give you strength and courage and comfort as you go through these, this holiday season. But we're just so grateful and thankful to, to be here together today and to be here with you, giving God thanks, giving God praise, as we go through this Sabbath and for the Sabbaths to come until God lifts this pandemic. We know that there's vaccines being done. We know that, you know, government is trying to do all that they can, but we also know who is the master physician. We know who, who it is that is going to get us out of this pandemic. And we look forward to when he does that so that we can all come back together hugging and being rejoiceful and singing and laughing with one another as we so long to do. Even if you didn't ha get to have Thanksgiving with family and friends, but you did it through Zoom or you did it through phone calls or text messages, praise the Lord for that. We are grateful that he has allowed us to be able to be together, whether it's distanced or face-to-face, -face, he has allowed us to be together. Thank God for you. Thank God for them. Thank God for all of us. And thank God that we're still able to praise his name. We've had some losses this year. We've had some sadness this year. But through it all, we still have a reason to give God praise and give him thanks. Because the Bible says that it is good to give God praise. The Bible declares, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercies endure forever. And so even though you have suffered some sickness and suffered some losses, know that even through that, you can still praise Him. You can still thank Him because we're still here. Thank God for all that He's done. So as the First Family of Goshen Church, we just want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. God bless.
10,000 tongues It just wouldn't be enough to say Thank you How I thank you For waking me up This morning For letting me see One more dawning Thank you Lord, I thank you I thank you, Lord For saving For saving my soul And making It's easy to think that when we give, not much happens. That's because we tend to think of it as a single transaction. We give, they get. The end. But what if there is more to the story? What if God is doing more than we know with our gift? Good news, He is. When we give, we are doing more than we know because God does more than we could imagine in three key ways. God works through us we become a pipeline through which His blessings flow. Instead of holding tightly to what He has given us, we must let it overflow into the needy world around us, allowing God's glory to shine. God works with us. We become partners in His mission to renew and restore all things to Himself. Through our prayers, 
presents, gifts, service, and witness, we join in the gracious work He has already begun. We become co-creators, shaping His world for good. God works in us. We become participants in His work of grace within our own hearts. Our giving helps transform us, even as we bless others. And as we align our treasure with what He treasures, we reveal the work He is doing in our hearts to make us more like Jesus. What happens when we give? More than we could ever imagine. Give generously and discover what God can do because of you.